Hello? Uh, oh. <laughs> Come on in now, welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me, I'm the host of this video, Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Delridge. It's happy hour. We're broadcasting live on the shores of the Longfellow Creek here in beautiful West Seattle. We're getting into the holiday spirit down here in the... I even, I even have the heater on, just, just as an effect. It really isn't doing anything to warm up the room, but, you know, it's a visual. It's good It's good for the optics. Um, we are getting into the into the spirit of things here, and um, I didn't want to repeat, because I know if everybody's going to go back and watch all the holiday videos that I did last year, I had a uh, whole, whole array of um, holiday drinks that I had concocted with a bunch of variety of syrups and, and whatnot last year. Um, so we're back on it. I just finished the uh, Netflix series um, called Elves, which was a uh, somewhere up in the uh, uh, generic uh, area of Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, Iceland, somewhere up there. Um, so I thought I'd do a little something here with uh, Aquavi um, from from Norway. I was going to do the the Ginevere from Mahalan or just uh, some basic old big gin from. Uh, around here in Seattle, but we're going to go for this, and um, I was thinking figs. I was looking at something that had, had some cranberry in it. I had a cocktail I'd come up with called the Naughty Elf. Um, it had a little, just like the uh, the Waters of Chaos, what made it chaotic was the uh, 151 rum. The naughtiness in the Naughty Elf came from a little little taste of 151 in there. But I'm going to go for this one with the Genevieve, and I did make a little garnish. We have a few little dried figs here. I, put them on a very, very festive pick, and if I would have had a uh, proper lemon, I would have done a little uh, lemon twist, because it is happy hour here this Saturday. We are kind of making it special. We did spend the morning at the Urban Urban Craft Rising, Uprising, at the uh, Exhibition Hall there at uh, Seattle Center. Packed, 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 packed. A lot of, uh, lot of wonderful items for sale there. Um, so we have our fig jam. I did do a, a fig cocktail with a fig, a fig uh, balsamic syrup um, a couple of months ago. That was one that was uh, recommended by uh, Mr. Steve Holitz. I, f I forgot the name of that cocktail already. Remember that one? Spiced fig balsamic syrup. I still have some. Uh, so we have some fig jam here. We have some lemon juice. Just basic simple syrup and our Genevieve. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. It's cold down here. Public Domain Radio, now what it has is that Swiss folk music. For a week there it was, uh, you know, folk, you know, Michael, row your boat ashore, hallelujah type of folk. Now it's a uh, Swiss, so they're, they're, you know, well, Switzerland, Nor Norway, not, you know, both cold. Um, so should we just make this happen? We're going to go with uh, four ounces of our Genevieve here. I mean, excuse me, our Aquavie. And you can tell the difference between the real Aquavie uh, versus the uh, the lucky sign what I got when we were in uh, when we played Mr. Smalls in Pittsburgh and uh, Chris Godey and myself stopped by the uh, lucky sign uh, lucky signs distillery there quite quite a big difference I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a little bit more botanical I just but okay pay attention Blaine two more ounces We're going to go two ounces of our lemon juice. And then we are going to do um, one ounce of simple syrup and one ounce of the fig jam. What's this fig jam? Fig preserves. What does it say? Fig, fig preserves. I tasted them already. They are delicious. So... Let's grab our bar spoon here. Two, looks like it's gonna be about three pretty heaping bar spoons of our fig preserves there. I'll make sure we get enough enough figgy, figgy goodness in there. Just a little bit extra in there. We're going to go for one ounce of our simple syrup. Other than that, I don't have anything interesting to report, do I? Nothing's really been happening. Snow. Snow. We have snow here in Seattle. It's kind of a hassle. It's not the good snow. It's snow that looks good for about two hours, then it just gets to be a mess. 
Well, I do get, if, if my guys, my rock and roll guys get it together, we did get um, offered to go to Japan here um, next next year around this time. Um, we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can pull it off. I don't know. Send, send, send good vibrations my way. As I would like to go to Japan. We were supposed to go to Japan for, uh, when our daughter graduated from high school, but she changed her mind and decided she didn't want to go to Japan and we did something else instead, but uh, it's definitely on my list. Ugh. A couple of them. I was looking at some other fig recipes, and some of them they wanted you to muddle the fig, and it's just like you're not really getting much out of that. You just got a bunch of gloppy, gloppy fig there in the bottom of your glass. And I didn't want to make a whole bunch of a uh, much bunch of a uh, fig syrup there. A nice chilled coupe glasses or champagne glasses, depending on where you're at. We go have a couple of nice tasty cocktails at Ooville last night. Our favorite bartender was working. She knows how to do it. Getting clumpy. Ah, shaker. It's starting to become difficult. If you're out there, and if you did get an invitation to our uh, uh, our holiday um, open house here on the 17th, don't forget to uh, RSVP and let us know that you're going to make it. It's starting to come together. Rail, would you like to join me in this festive? Oh, look at that. That is what makes it a $16 cocktail right there. Just don't poke your eye out. That is delicious. Well, I want to thank you all very much for joining me. Lords of Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Del Ridge. It's happy hour. We're mixing up cocktails. I know it's been a couple of days, so I know that you miss me. And you want to know where I've been. I've been here not doing a whole heck of a lot of anything. But I'm ready to make the move. Peace out from the Wicker Bar. We'll be back. We'll be back in a couple of days. And if you're around, just a little, little preemptive, if you're around up in the Everett area, Next Saturday, December 10th, the rock and roll band, The Accused AD, is going to be playing with Millhouse, Hot Belly, The Swaggerlies, a couple other things. It's, it's like it's almost like a it's almost like a festival, almost like a music, almost like a music festival. We're going to be up there, decked out in our holiday garb. Um, Santa's going to probably make a little appearance, throwing out candy canes to all the nice little ch children, boys and girls, and everybody else on the uh, spectrum of humanity. But anyway, peace out from the worker bar. I gotta go up and make dinner now. Okay, goodbye.